Hello friends. Welcome back to the Cantor's Corner. This week we're reading Parsha Devarim, which quite literally translates to things or words. Not surprisingly then, we see Moshe begin his farewell address to the Israelites just shy of the land of Canaan, which as the promised land we also like to know as Israel. During his farewell address, he begins by retelling the history of the people, where they come from, what they've done all this time. And as I was reading it, I was thinking to myself that this is the story according to Moses. Yes, it is pretty similar to what we see in the rest of the Torah, but regardless, it is still Moses' story. We have very few, if at all, records on how all of this might have affected the Amalekites, Hittites, Perizzites, all of the people whom it is said that the Israelites conquered. We don't have record of their stories. And so I believe that what we see here in Parshat Devarim is one side of a highly multifaceted story. I do think this is very pertinent to what goes on in our everyday lives. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the adage, history is written by the victor. I think this is especially true, even when discussing issues like the Vietnam War. The story we have is from the American perspective, and yet none of it talks about reality, the defeat that America had against Vietnam, along with usually the myriad of atrocities that were inflicted upon the Vietnamese by the Americans. This is only one story that we as a nation tell amongst the myriad of stories that are out there, not just about our nation engaging with others, but the story of what happens internally. The variances of stories about the Civil War or the War of Southern Aggression, depending on where you're located, or even dealing with the stories of African Americans and slavery and oppression that quite arguably goes on to today. We hear the side of mostly old white men. What stories are we hearing from those who suffered? What stories are we hearing from those who continue to suffer? I ask you to listen to their stories, to the myriad of stories that are being silenced by the white male majority. Listen to what they have to say. Embrace their truth that they are choosing to give to you by listening and embracing these stories, recognizing the humanity that exists in this other person. Perhaps we may be able to reconcile with the number of issues that face our nation. Part of the reason I believe that families are still being separated at our borders is because we're not taking the time to listen to the stories of these asylum seekers. Go and listen and be open Perhaps then we can be a little bit more human.